Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're cooking something I think everyone loves. That's beef jerky. Yes, I love beef jerky. I don't, honestly don't know anybody that doesn't like it, but we're making beef jerky. I'm gonna make mine today on the Green Mountain Wood Pellet Grill to add a little bit of smoky flavor. But if you don't have a wood pellet grill, don't tune out just yet because you can still make beef jerky. You can make it in a dehydrator if you have one. You can make it in the oven. It's pretty easy to make. The prep is the same no matter how you make it. However, there's one key difference. If you're not making it on the wood pellet grill, you're gonna need some liquid smoke. Not that big a deal, but that way you can add the smoky flavor if you want it. If you don't want the smoky flavor, forget the liquid smoke, the prep's identical. So, what I've gotten, and I found this on sale at Kroger, is a London broil. So, this is a pretty good piece of meat, and it's the strips are gonna be nice, the way we cut it. I put it in the freezer for about 45 minutes so that it cuts a little bit easier. Now, you don't have to cut this yourself at home. You could use a round steak, you could get pretty much a round roast, rump roast. Just go to your local store and find the roast you want or find the piece of meat that you want and you can take it to the butcher, they'll cut it for you. Um, usually, beef jerky is a preference. So on thickness, so I usually cut mine between a quarter and a half inch. Uh, that's the way I'm gonna cut mine today. But you can ask the butcher to cut it for you. Just tell them how thick you want it and they will slice it and repack it. So let me show you how we're gonna cut this up today. This is a three pound London broil. So we're not making three pounds of beef jerky. We're making three pounds before cooking. You like that disclaimer right there, before cooking? That's because there's a lot of moisture and we're basically going to cook the moisture out of it and dry it out. So depending on what kind of meat you get, I would cut it against the grain. The London broil, the grain actually is running up and down here. You can see uh, kind of the way the, the meat is. So we're just gonna cut it the long way or the short way here. And then it's gonna turn out pretty tender. The reason I would cut it against the grain is because you want this tender and as easy to pull apart as possible. So, again, as I mentioned, we're going to cut ours between a quarter and a half inch thick. So, right there is about how thick. Because when that dehydrates down, that's going to be a decent thick piece of beef jerky that you can actually chew on. Again, how thick you like the beef jerky? Is really a personal preference. I like it a little thicker because then it's a little meatier. But if you like it thinner, make it that way. But remember, the thicker you make this, the longer it will take because you're basically dehydrating or cooking the moisture out of it as you make it. So I'm not gonna make you watch me cut the whole thing, but you wanna kinda try to cut it, again, as uniform as possible like I mentioned before, I put this in the freezer for about 45 minutes because it does stiffen the steak up a little bit. And if you're gonna cut it yourself, it makes it much easier to cut. So I'm gonna finish cutting this up and we'll get to the rest of it. I have the meat all cut up and they're you know pretty consistent size slices and lengths. Um, you know, again, this is all personal preference, but as you can see, three pounds of London broil makes a lot it's going to make a lot of beef jerky. So first thing I like to do is just get it into a Ziploc bag because it's the easiest place to marinate it. So we're going to put it in the Ziploc bag here and then we're going to get our seasoning in. And like I said, I'm putting this on the wood pellet grill so all we're going to use here today is the soy sauce. I like cucumin but Again, your personal preference on soy sauce, and you don't want to leave. I would not marinate this overnight in soy sauce because your beef jerky could end up super, super salty, and you don't want that. You don't want to buy a nice piece of meat and then ruin it. Now, I got this London broil on sale. It was 11 bucks, so I'm going to make basically three pounds before cooking of beef jerky for 11 bucks, and you know, soy sauce is what, 99 cents? So 
I'm not going to have very much uh, money into this one in broil, but it's going to turn out hopefully fantastic here. So let's get this cucumber soy sauce put in. So basically, I'm just going to sprinkle some in here. Don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to mix because we want all of this meat basically covered. We don't want it soaking too much in it and too wet. We just gotta wanna make sure that we get the meat coated with soy sauce very well. Now, I'm gonna take a little time and do this and spare you the details of making sure watching every meat, every piece of meat get covered here. But as you can see, I mean, you can see that the soy sauce is covered on here. And we're gonna live, because we don't want it, we don't want to overdo it. We just want a nice, um, not super salty, but a seasoned piece of meat here. So that's basically what the soy sauce is doing. So once we're done, we're going to leave this set for about 30 minutes. Then we're going to get it on the grill and start drying it. But you can see, you can actually see the change in the color with the soy sauce. And that's all that you basically want to do is make sure this meat has some soy sauce on all of it. But I don't want to dump the whole container in here and just have a Ziploc bag full of soy sauce. So, all right, we're gonna let this set and we'll get it on the grill. So we have our beef jerky. It's been marinating for about 45 minutes actually. I wanted to get a little bit more on there or a little bit more soaked in. So basically what we're gonna do is just lay it out on the rack like this. I want that, uh, I want that piece of grass in there. I don't know how a piece of grass got on my grill, but basically you're going to lay it out like this. Just spread it out so it's really not touching each other too much because it's going to shrink. But you want to be able to you want to be able to get it pulled apart too because it'll end up cooking together just a little bit. And I like uh, I like laying it apart across the grains like that. That way you get some nice grill marks on there, but I'm going to keep doing this. You don't have to uh, watch all of this, but I'll show you what it looks like once it's all on the grill. And this is pretty much it. And then you cook it till your desired, let's call it doneness, if that's a word. Okay, so this is all laid out on the grill real nice. We're going to let this cook. Probably is going to take about two to three hours, again, to desired doneness, but I have the grill at 285 right now. I may turn it up or down depending, but if you're, like I said, if you're doing this in dehydrator, you just, it's one temperature, you just turn it on and it's done when it's desired, uh, you know, tenderness or, you know, when you decide all the moisture is out for you. So you could do this a lot of different ways. Again, we're doing this on the Green Mountain Pellet Grill, so we're gonna get some smoky flavor and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so the beef jerky's been on for about 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. What I like to do is flip it because then I get the grill marks on both sides. This is really hot. Probably should be using gloves. But you can see the nice grill marks on there. And this is why right here, see it sucked together? That's why I don't like to get it too close together because it tends to stick. So. Anyways, I'm going to keep flipping this, and then I'm going to put it back on for probably another hour, and it'll be done, and we'll show you when it's done. Okay, so all this stuff's been on for about two hours at around 250. Now, normally, you can cook these a little slower. Your, uh, your basic dehydrator is not going to be at this temperature. Normally, you can cook these anywhere between really 185 and 250 or so. Uh, I got it a little warmer because I kind of just needed to get these done a little quicker today. So just use a uh, basic, take these off the grill however you want here. I kind of use these because these are hot. And as you can see, they're not, you know, some of them are more done than others, but they're going to keep cooking for a few minutes. It's just like uh, letting normal meat rest, so. And these will dry out more as they sit. So, again, you're gonna let these 
cook. The length of time basically depends on how tender or how crisp you like that meat. I'd rather cook it a little more tender and then as it sits it can dry out a little more because once it's too dry you can't undry it. So look at those. Those are uh, those are about to be pretty tasty. Let's take them inside and taste. Okay, I got the beef jerky back inside and we're gonna taste it here. So let me take a little piece here. See, it's a nice, see how dry it is. It's still a little red, but it's pretty dried out. So, mm. just enough, just enough soy sauce flavor. You might wanna marinate it just a little bit longer if you like it a little saltier. This you can actually really taste the meat, um, but it's got some salt to it. So I like it this way. But if you like it a little salty, marinate it for an hour or maybe a little bit longer. But like I said, with soy sauce, you've got to be careful because it can end up really salty really fast. So just be careful, but try this at home, make it, leave me a comment, see how yours turns out. I really like to know. So please like this video. Again, leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You'll get notifications if you click the bell when I post new videos like this. I like to do food and drinks, so we will see you next time. Appreciate you stopping by and tuning in. Thank you.